Okay, YouTube, it's been a rough day. So, I don't know, I'm kind of considering my, my bearing installation to be a fail. And I'll explain more about that. But one thing that I did not do was I did not take the time, and I don't know why, probably because I just doubt that it'll even be accurate, is measure the distance between these two axles. See, but this doesn't... Some, something to just put in here to push, get some tension on this belt. 29 and a half centimeters, it looks like almost exactly. Let me see if, see if it looks the same this way. Yeah, 29 and a half centimeters. So there's, uh, they're not really eight inch. They're bigger than eight inches. They're, it looks like 21 centimeters. So what happened was, I drilled these really nice holes in these brackets, and then went to put together kind of a, kind of dry fitting everything together, only to find out that these, the spacing is way off on these. So then I had to oblong these holes which is really, really depressing because it's one of the problems that I had on my last robot that I wanted to fix or avoid. I wanted to have nice press fit bearings in all of the axles and now I got this same mess that I had on my other robot. So here's what's gonna happen. I am not gonna just let that go this time because on my other robot I have issues with the alignment of the tracks and uh, there's also issues on my other robot with the drive chain being too loose there's issues of the drive wheel slipping on the notches on the rubber track. Okay, so I've got all those issues, and those are basically all adjustment issues with how this is all set up. Now, when I did the dry fit, the chain drive chain tension was was good. Whoops, that's between here and here. And I'm not going to mess with this. So we're going to do all of our adjustment here. So I'm going to use flat. By using this flat stock in here, I got my little mini mill. I'll mill um, 3 8 or 5 16 whatever, slots in here. And then those will be bolt tightened and then I don't need any kind of a turnbuckle. So that'll keep it that'll keep it simple. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then the bearings will be nice and press fit into this. All this mess won't be visible. It'll be strengthened. And this this was one of the problems that I wanted to solve. I really want much more precision in the way that these are put together. I want more strength and more precision. So I'm gonna take more time to design these brackets. So that's what's going on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.